हेलो एंड वेलकम टू डॉक्टर हनीमा उपाध्याय केमिस्ट्री लैब वीडियोस इन टुडेज वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट सरफेस टेंशन एंड वाटर इक्विवेलेंट आई गॉट द रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम सम स्टूडेंट्स टू अपलोड दिस वीडियो ऑन दीज टू टॉपिक्स so that they can do well in their exams i understand that how desperate you guys are in this pandemic time when you are completely dependent on the online teaching so before i start this video i would like those who have not subscribed to my channel till now please do it and also all of you please share my videos among all your friends and also recommend to the fresh students so let us begin with first surface tension once i will complete the surface tension i will move on to the water equivalent so first question is define surface tension or what do you understand by surface tension it is defined as the property of a liquid surface which depends mainly upon the forces of attraction between the particles within the given liquid and solid liquid or gas which is in contact with this liquid what forces are responsible for surface tension it is the electrostatic forces of attraction which are responsible for surface tension thus surface tension minimizes the area of the liquid yes surface tension minimizes the area of the liquid because it is the forces that acts on the surface of the liquid they attracts the molecules which are on the surface towards the molecules within the liquid thus reducing its surface and making it appear as a drop what is the general formula to measure surface tension surface tension is measured using the formula gamma is equal to f by d here gamma is surface tension f is the force and d is the length along which the force is felt it is expressed as newtons per meter which is equivalent to joules per square meter and this unit is based on the forces that acts on the liquid in the plane of the surface which force causes fluids to rise up in the capillary you might have seen that if you immerse a capillary in the water the water automatically rises up in the capillary so which force is responsible for this rise of liquid in the capillary it is the surface tension which makes the liquid rise up in the capillary which liquid has highest surface tension it is mercury which is the liquid metal at room temperature which has the highest surface tension after 
mercury it is the water which has maximum surface tension what causes surface tension in water it is the hydrogen bonding which is responsible for surface tension in water what is the effect of temperature on surface tension with the rising temperature the surface tension decreases and at critical temperature it completely vanishes for water the critical temperature when there is zero surface tension is around 273.2 degree celsius what is the name of the equation that relates angle of contact to the surface tension of liquid air liquid solid and solid air the equation that relates the angle of contact to the surface tension of liquid air liquid solid and solid air is called young's equation and this name has come after the scientist who was a british and his name was thomas young why it is easy to wash clothes in hot water than cold water as we know that with the rising temperature the surface tension and viscosity both decreases so when the water is hot the surface tension is less and therefore the molecules of water are allowed to come into contact with the dirt that is present on the clothes and interact with it and clean it can you calculate the surface tension of a material with mass 0.2 newton and it is 0.02 meter long simply substitute the values in the formula gamma is equal to f by d so here f is 0.2 newton and d is 0.02 we will get the answer as 10 newton per square meter so in this way we can calculate the mass also we can calculate the force also what methods are used to determine surface tension three main methods are there to determine the surface tension the first two methods are based on the force tensiometer and these two methods are do noy ring method and will help me plate method the third met method is optical method and is called the pendant drop method what is the difference between surface tension and surface energy often these two terms are confused with each other but the surface tension is related to liquids whereas the surface energy or the surface free energy is related to the solids here i complete the surface tension and now i will move to the other topic that is water equivalent so what do you understand by water equivalent water equivalent of a substance is equal to the amount of water required or needed to absorb same amount of heat as the substance for the rise of 1 degree centigrade in temperature so whatever amount of heat is required to raise the temperature of a given material through 1 degree centigrade if the same amount of water is also needed 
to raise the temperature through 1 degree centigrade then they are equal to each other. So in other words we can say that it is the quantity of water whose thermal capacity is same as the heat capacity of the material body. What are the units of water equivalent? The SI unit of water equivalent is kilograms. What is the dimensional formula of water equivalent? The dimensional formula is written as m to the power 1, l to the power 0 and t to the power 0. All the three terms m, l and t are in capital. What is the water equivalent of a body? When the thermal capacity of a body is expressed in terms of mass of water, it is called the water equivalent of the body. How is water equivalent denoted? It is denoted by capital W and capital W is equal to Ms that is the heat capacity of the body. How can you determine the water equivalent? To determine the water equivalent, we have to use Baum calorie meter. I have explained Baum calorie meter in my chemistry lecture series. I will give its link in the description box. You can go through it and learn how the Baum calorie meter works, the complete experiment observations and calculations. Where is water equivalent used? Water equivalent is used in measuring, determining the calorific value that is in calorimetry, in the heat measurements. So this is all about water equivalent. I have come completed both the topics that is water equivalent and surface tension in this video. Hope this will benefit you. Definitely learn them and if you have any doubts ask them in the comment box. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.